Now we've seen already how easy it is to get yourself a new document in Word. Where the cursor is flashing is where the text will appear. Go ahead and type. I don't even have to look up when I get to the end of the line. It started a new line by itself. Over here on the right, we can see that gap between the last letter and the paragraph's ending, which is there. See that in the ruler. Imagine there's a vertical line coming down. If it can't fit in that gap, it then automatically wraps and we're on to the next line. I don't need to think about it. I just carry on typing. What's occurring there is wrapping the text. It's automatic in all word processors. You don't have to think about where the end of the line is going to occur. Word will decide whether the word you're currently typing will fit at the end. If not, it will then move it down and that's called wrapping. If you physically need to start a new line yourself, simply press the Enter key on the keyboard and I start typing a new line again. I've typed a lowercase c, but as soon as it knows I've finished that particular word, so can, and you saw there that it flashed up a little bit of blue, which is the auto text working away, it changes my lowercase c to an uppercase c. And I'm going to start again with of space, changes to an uppercase o with a little flashy blue underneath. Anything that denotes the end of a sentence, such as a period, question mark, and exclamation mark, then a space, it's required really that that space is there. That's then telling Word that you've finished that sentence, here's a new sentence. And it will automatically capitalize the first letter of that new sentence. So entering text into a Word document just involves typing. The cursor already starts at the beginning of the document. A new line is Enter, but you don't need to press Enter when you've got to the end of the page. That's automatically controlled by the wrapping within Word. The Enter physically starts a new line, a new paragraph really, as far as Word's concerned. Now you can force Word to not only start a new paragraph, but to start a new page by not just pressing return on its own, but using the command key with return. So here I am, I've written two paragraphs. I want the next paragraph to start at the top of the next page. If I hold down the command key and press enter, I then start a new page. Obviously I've made a mistake as well. And we'll see later how we can correct those mistakes. And again, we continue. So it's simple typing, don't even need to think about the end of the line, Word will control the end of the lines for you. You want a new line, you press return. You want a new page, control and return. That's the one that starts a new line or with the command, starts a new page.